here with Rob Mazzico, head coach of the Walsh Cavaliers uh, women's cross country team. I mean, you lost a lot last year, but you come in this year and it seems like you haven't lost a step. Hell yeah, it's been exciting. The uh, and Brie Coy has just progressed um, just really impressively the last couple of years. And to come out here and uh, run away with the race is uh, really special. And, and it being on our home course, which you probably talked to her about, it, it's it's really really fun. Um, and then we're young, you know. We have a freshman, two sophomores in that top five, um, a junior in there. So Bree's, you know, the in our top five, the only one that's actually graduating. So the young girls have stepped up. Uh, they've done some beautiful things in practice, and now we're seeing it on meet day. I mean, Bree wasn't the only one familiar with the course. I mean, you've coached here for a while, even prior to Wall. So, I mean, what do you tell the kids going in? I'm sure you come out here to practice quite a bit too. Oh yeah, we come out here probably once, at least once every two weeks to do some sort of workout. It was uh, so we're familiar with the course, just like Malone's very familiar with the course. And um, yeah, like you said, a couple of hey, our George! girls have run here in high school many times. George! So it's it's uh, you know it, it, you, you can't prepare for the mud. You know, so it wasn't, you know, it's kind of even terrain for everybody out there today because it was so sloppy. Uh, but like I said, our women have been doing it consistently since week one. And that's just another great race they put, you know, on line day. Last question. Yeah. Uh, quality of competition across the board, men and women's side. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing here in the great Mac, or GMAC. Yeah, the, it's, yeah, on the women's side, you know, we knew, you know, we've been chasing Hillsdale for several years now. Um, so we know they knew they were going to bring it. Cedarville traditionally has a great program as well. Um, Malone's redshirting their top girl that um, you know will make them a lot better next year. But they're they're strong every year. And then on the men's side, it's it's been crazy with uh, us Malone, Cedarville, and Hillsdale this year. Uh, hopefully we can keep battling all the way to nationals in a couple of weeks. But uh, you know hats off to Malone today. They put down the unbelievable race. And, got us up front and we closed extremely well in that race on the men's side. I'm extremely proud of our men uh, for that race. I mean, putting Mark out there for the first time in six weeks um, and I thought he performed very well for us. Uh, overall, you know, hats off to Malone. You know, we're excited. All the way on to the uh, national meet. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Coach, and congratulations. Thank you.